Hello again everyone. I thought that I would do a video on Twitch TV streaming. My opinions on Twitch TV streaming. Um, basically you're watching a guy right now who I'm recording, who is live streaming obviously right now, um, who is my idea of a good live streamer. Um, then I'm going to explain what I think is a bad live streamer or people who are live streaming for the wrong reasons or yeah okay so um, this guy is called Lethal Frag he has a stream on Twitch TV so it's basically Twitch TV slash Lethal Frag I will put the link below in the video and this guy basically he has decided that he's going to try to make a living from streaming computer games because right now Twitch TV you can actually become a partner you can run adverts and you can make some money um, so I think this is also why you get the bad streamers these days as well but so he's basically he has given himself two years to try to grow his channel enough so that he can actually use this as his major source of income um, it explains all, all of this on the information section of his stream um, so yeah now that's all well and good but I'm highlighting him not only because he has a very good stream he, he he interacts with his viewers he plays interesting games he well he plays the games that he wants to play and his commentary is very good he obviously knows what he is doing when he plays games um, yeah um, so he is a good streamer as well in the way that he promotes himself he promotes himself by having a good stream and he streams a lot every day maybe eight hours a day um, the problem that I've been finding the past I don't know year or even year and a half on Twitch ever since it became a viable option for you to make any money from streaming you get a lot of people who want to grow a stream as fast as possible they want to be a big stream so that they can earn money um, so what usually happens is that the route I see so many times and this is the route that annoys me so much is um, basically these people who come on and they use giveaways to try to promote their channel and they constantly do giveaways all the time and it's not only that they do a giveaway they say oh when I get to 1000 followers I'm going to do a giveaway. When I get to 1,500, I do a giveaway. Now, a perfect example of this is a guy called Individual Ghost. I'm going to say his name because he's a really good example of this. And yeah, I don't really care if he was to somehow see this video because that's fine. Like, I'm allowed to have opinions about people. Um, and this is only my opinion. Like, you should go and watch his stream as well to kind of get your own opinion. Now, first of all, this guy plays a lot of days now days has been very very popular on twitch tv it's been um, a game that people can easily get a hundred viewers and there are some people who play that that game every day who have been getting three four five hundred and above viewers so this guy has decided it seems that he's gonna play days like a lot like every day but not only that he has done exactly what I just described he's had so many giveaways like I think he like 1,500 followers 2,000 3,000 I don't know he just and he's trying to artificially get his subscribers up by doing giveaways because what usually happens is people will try to subscribe as much as they can to get the number up so he does the giveaway so hopefully they will win but in reality you get these people who are not actually interested in his stream he will not actually you know most of them will never actually go back to his stream he's artificially trying to grow a viewer base or a subscriber base without actually trying to give them a reason now that that kind of thing and I see it a lot on Twitch TV um, it 
annoys me. It does annoy me. I know it doesn't really affect me, but it just annoys me when I see these people who are, you know, always doing giveaways, trying to artificially grow subscribers in this way. It just annoys me. Whereas, like I said before, this guy, Lethal Frag, he, I've never seen him do a giveaway. Never. Now, I'm not saying that giveaways are bad. I mean, I've done a couple of giveaways on my stream as well. But the fact is, I don't like it when people do a giveaway and they say it's at one, th you know, what, I'm only going to do the giveaway at 1,500 followers or 2,000 followers there. So it's quite obvious that the motivation for the giveaway is to get more followers. When I have done giveaways, I've never stipulated anything like that. I've just had a day where I've just up where I've said to people on this day, I'm going to give away a game. And yeah, at a certain time, I just then, I do the giveaway. It's not a time that is to do with the amount of followers I have. And yeah, this guy, Lethal Frag, I've never seen him um, play, play. I've never seen him do a giveaway like that. And also, one other trap that people fall into is they play the games that they think are going to be very, very popular in terms of the number of people that will view them. So they they find these games that are very popular to try to grow the viewer base again. But the problem is what usually happens is they don't really enjoy playing this game. They don't really enjoy it and it just turns into a chore and then in the end they usually will give up or you know they'll be demotivated or that you know the the stream you know I won't see the stream for a long time because uh, whoever it is has basically got like sick of streaming games they don't really enjoy to stream or it's not what they want to be playing at that time now I think the best way is just to stream the games that you want to play and I was watching this guy Lethal Frag earlier today and someone actually said to him oh why don't you go play Bind Binding of Isaac blah 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 because I really really miss that game and all this and he said oh I'm going to play the games I want to play I'm not going to you know well, he, that's all he said he just left it at that but yeah so this guy here is a very good example in my opinion and I say again it's just my opinion he's a very good example of what a, a Twitch TV streamer it should be like he plays the games that he wants to play and he doesn't try to artificially get his viewers up or his followers up by doing giveaways or playing you know very very popular games in fact quite often he's playing quite small games and yet right now he's got over 2,000 viewers right now he's got just under 25,000 like 24 and a half thousand followers that's a lot of followers and he's got 2223 viewers now he is like proof that you can actually get a big following on here on Twitch TV without doing lots of giveaways or pandering to people by purely having a good stream playing the games you enjoy so that when you play those games you usually you know convey good entertainment like to other people because you're enjoying the game if you know what I mean so yeah by just playing games that you want to play streaming talking with your viewers engaging with your viewers and obviously trying to give insightful commentary on the game that you're playing that's all this guy has done and yet he is um, very popular now I would say actually now he's probably one of the most popular like single streamers like a person on their own if you know what I mean there's other streamers who are bigger but usually it's like a network who are streaming esports or something for like an individual thing one person individually streaming I think he's now pretty much the single most popular guy it's like I say right now he's got 2,235 2, viewers that's a lot and that's at a point where I believe he can actually start doing what he set out to do and earning a living from this. Now, even with those kind of viewers, I don't know how much you can earn. I don't know really if you can earn like a decent amount of money. It probably is not going to be loads. But hey, I mean, it should be enough for you to live a basic life off of. Um, yeah, so you guys should go and head, up, head over to his stream and take a look and see if you like it because I've been watching him now for like a few months and he's a 
he seems to be a really good streamer. If you guys um, disagree with me, or if you have any comments about the whole Twitch TV thing, then um, I would love to hear your ideas. But please, you know, try to be constructive about it, and don't just like flame me for no reason. If you have like a criticism of what I've said, then I I would like you to kind of explain why and actually engage in a conversation. But yeah, okay guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.